The 2026 KDX-3 Batch 2 Aegis Destroyer stands as a testament to South Korea's growing naval power and advanced defense capabilities. Designed as an evolution of the original KDX-3 Sejong the Great class destroyers, the Batch 2 variant introduces a host of upgrades in sensors, combat systems, propulsion, stealth, and firepower. Built by Hyundai Heavy Industries and Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering, this vessel brings South Korea closer to true blue water naval operations. It is part of the Republic of Korea Navy's goal to establish a more autonomous and technologically advanced defense structure that can operate across a wide range of maritime theaters. Measuring approximately 170 meters in length with a beam of around 21 meters, the KDX-3 Batch 2 is a significantly large surface combatant. It displaces roughly 10,500 tons under full load, making it one of the heaviest destroyers in service globally, comparable in size to U.S. Navy's Arleigh Burke Class Flight 3 and the Japanese Maya Class. The ship features a sleek and low observable hull design with extensive attention paid to reducing radar cross-section through the use of angled surfaces, a flush deck, and an integrated mast. These design elements help to minimize the ship's detectability, providing enhanced survivability in hostile environments. One of the most striking features of the Batch 2 destroyer is its incorporation of the latest Baseline 9 Aegis combat system, which is an upgrade from the earlier Baseline 7 used in the original KDX-3. The Baseline 9 system enables the ship to simultaneously conduct anti-air, anti-surface, and anti-submarine warfare with integrated fire control. This capability is further bolstered by the powerful ANSPY-1D radar, a phased array system capable of tracking hundreds of aerial targets over vast distances. The destroyer can engage multiple incoming threats simultaneously, from ballistic missiles to low-flying cruise missiles, aircraft, and surface threats. The KDX-3 Batch 2 also features the Korean Vertical Launching System, or KVLS, in addition to the American MK-41 VLS. The ship carries a total of 128 vertical launch cells, 64 for the MK-41 and 64 for the KVLS. These systems can deploy a diverse range of missiles including the SM-2 Block IIIB surface-to-air missile, Hunmu 3 c land attack cruise missile, the Haegung c boat point defense missile, and the Chungang-2 for medium-range interception. This mixture allows the vessel to conduct both offensive and defensive operations across all domains of naval warfare. In terms of anti-submarine warfare, the Batch 2 class is equipped with the latest sonar systems, including a bow-mounted sonar and a towed array system for long-range submarine detection. The integration of a hull-mounted low-frequency active passive sonar system and an advanced towed array sonar system ensures excellent submarine detection and tracking capability. It also carries k Azrock anti-submarine rockets, capable of delivering a torpedo to distant underwater threats. For close-range submarine threats, the ship is fitted with triple 324mm torpedo tubes, usually loaded with K-745 Blue Shark lightweight torpedoes. The ship is also heavily armed in surface warfare roles. It carries up to 16 SSM-700K Hezong anti-ship missiles, a homegrown supersonic missile with precision targeting ability. These missiles are capable of engaging enemy ships at long ranges with high-speed flight and evasive maneuverability. In addition, the Batch 2 is armed with a 127mm Mk-45 Mod 4 naval gun capable of firing precision guided rounds for surface engagement and naval gunfire support. For close in defense, the destroyer includes two major systems, the Phalanx CIWS and the Korean-developed rolling airframe. Missile System. The CIWS provides last-ditch defense against incoming missiles and aircraft with its rapid-firing 20mm Gatling gun. The RAM System, mounted in multiple launchers, offers layered defense capability with high-speed missile intercepts. Powering this massive vessel is a combined gas and gas COGAG propulsion system utilizing LM2500 gas turbines, which allow the ship to reach speeds exceeding 30 knots. The propulsion system is designed not only for high speed but also for excellent endurance, enabling extended deployments without the need for constant refueling. 
With a range estimated at over 10,000 kilometers, the ship is well suited for blue water missions, including carrier escort duties, ballistic missile defense, and regional power projection. One of the revolutionary aspects of the KDX-3 Batch 2 class is its full compatibility with the US Navy and Allied fleets. The destroyer's communication systems and combat management are designed to operate seamlessly in joint operations, including data sharing, synchronized targeting, and missile defense coordination. The ship is fully integrated into the Cooperative Engagement Capability CEC, network, allowing it to share sensor data in real time with other ships and aircraft to form a combined, multi-layered defense shield. This is especially vital for missile defense missions across the Korean Peninsula and the wider Indo-Pacific region. The vessel also comes equipped with sophisticated electronic warfare capabilities, including radar jamming, decoys, and countermeasures. These systems are critical in modern combat where electronic attacks and spoofing can disable or mislead missile systems. Additionally, the ship features integrated defensive measures like chaff launchers, infrared decoys, and advanced signal intelligence tools. In terms of aviation capability, the KDX-3 Batch 2 includes a large flight deck and enclosed hangar capable of supporting two helicopters, typically the A-159 Wildcat or the MH-60 RC Hawk. These helicopters expand the ship's operational range by enabling over-the-horizon surveillance, anti-submarine warfare, search and rescue, and utility missions. The aviation facilities onboard include advanced landing systems, refueling stations, and helicopter data link capabilities for real-time information sharing. Habitability and crew comfort have also seen improvement in the Batch 2 variant. With automation and improved systems, the destroyer can operate efficiently with a smaller crew than similar-sized warships. However, the ship still houses more than 300 personnel, including specialists in combat operations, navigation, engineering, and aviation. The interior is designed with modern amenities and better ergonomic planning, which not only enhances comfort but also ensures operational effectiveness during extended deployments. The KDX-3 Batch 2 is designed with future growth in mind. The modular design allows for system upgrades, new weapon integration, and even future directed energy weapons or railguns if those technologies become viable for deployment. The ship's architecture includes reserved spaces for additional combat systems and hardware, reflecting a future-proof mindset in warship design. South Korea has ordered at least three KDX-3 Batch 2 destroyers, with the lead ship Rocks Jungjo the Great already in service and additional units scheduled for delivery in the coming years. These ships are not only the pride of the Republic of Korea Navy but are also being closely watched by naval analysts around the world due to their formidable combination of advanced technology, heavy firepower, and versatile capabilities. They serve both as a deterrent and as a platform for joint operations with allied navies in the face of regional security challenges, including threats from North Korea and tensions in the South China Sea. The expected cost per unit for the KDX-3 Batch 2 Aegis destroyer is estimated at approximately 1.3 billion US dollars. This figure includes the full outfitting of sensors, weapon systems, propulsion, aviation facilities, and combat integration. The price is a reflection of the ship's cutting-edge capabilities and the strategic value it brings to the Republic of Korea Navy's operational portfolio. If you're interested in cutting-edge defense technology, strategic maritime capabilities, or simply fascinated by the engineering marvels of modern warships, the 2026 KDX-3 Batch 2 Aegis destroyer stands as a flagship example of next-generation naval design. Its presence is reshaping the balance of naval power in East Asia and enhancing South Korea's deterrent capabilities significantly. Thanks for watching this in-depth look at the 2026 KDX-3 Batch 2 Aegis Destroyer. If you enjoyed this video and want more high-quality content on military vehicles, warship reviews, specs, and performance features, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. This is SK Auto Reviews, your trusted source for everything related to defense, strategy, and advanced military technology. Stay tuned for more detailed reviews and exclusive content coming your way.